Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Nicole Havlicek. Today, we're going to go over the three ways to hit a legal Ernie. We'll cover the proper footwork and timing in order to stay legal and hit effective Ernie's. Here's Jordan to show us how it's done. All right, guys, so this is the video for the three ways to hit um, an Ernie. So first of all, what is an Ernie? So usually um, the Ernie refers to a shot that the player hits from the from the side of the non-volley zone. So I'm on the sideline, I'm out of the non-volley zone, but I'm hitting it above the kitchen on my side. So from the side. So that's, that's what an Ernie is. And you'll see that um, as we progress in the video, okay? So the very first way to hit an Ernie, uh, which you're gonna take, which needs more time because you're gonna go have to go all the way around. But this is like the roundabout Ernie. This is uh, me coming around the kitchen, around the kitchen and then contacting and hitting the Ernie from here, okay? So this is going around the kitchen on the side, okay? So here we go. Okay, so that is the, that's the Ernie where I go around the kitchen. I have my, my feet never even go across or in it. So it's a very safe um, shot. I'm making sure my feet are planted outside, okay? So the second way, second way to hit an Ernie is going across, okay? Going through the kitchen. And so you just really wanna be careful when you're doing this to make sure that when you go through, you have both feet planted before you contact the ball. And, and that's what's going to make it a legal Ernie. And there's, a, there's just a, a few other things that you have to make sure to make sure that um, your Ernie is a legal one, okay? So you're coming through the kitchen, through the non-volley zone, both feet planted outside before contact, and I'm making sure my contact is is before the plane of the net, okay? It's okay if your follow through comes after contact, okay? And um, just make sure both feet are planted and after you hit that, the momentum rule still applies, okay? So if you're just like as if you were taking volleys um, from the net and then you fall in, it's the same thing. Let's say you have both feet planted, your contact points before the net and then you fall in the kitchen here, that's a violation. So you just wanna make sure you plant your feet and then your balance, and then hit the shot and follow through, okay? All right, so this is the Ernie going through the non-volley zone. Here we go. Okay. All right, so now the third and final way to hit an Ernie, which it, you're going to have a good amount of athletic ability is to jump over the kitchen and la landing on the sidelines and hitting through that Ernie. So um, you'll see a lot of top 5-0 players do this, and this is one that comes by the, uh, with the most surprise because uh, when you're dinking with somebody, um, that's a, you're, you're barely going to see them. By the time you look up, they're right there. Um, so this is jumping over and across, and the same thing applies. I want to make sure my contact point is before the plane of the net, and that I'm making sure I'm landing um, not in the non-volley zone and I'm gonna when I land I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm not falling into the non-volley zone which would be um, a point for the other team or I want, also want to make sure I'm not hitting the net touching the net okay okay here's the Ernie jumping over the non-volley zone
Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and also feel free to comment and share. And definitely subscribe to our channel for more pro player pickleball secrets instructional videos. We'll see you in the next one.